my first question, which is uh, kind of on a, on, a, on a personal note, is because I've been really fascinated by your work, is um, if someone wanted to get into this, where should she or he start? Should she start with um, understanding the mathematical underpinnings of all this? Or do you think it's best to go into philosophy for this? Or do you think it's best to start with computer science and artificial intelligence? Or um, where do you think uh, are the foundations for, for all this best found and uh, how can one approach them? Personally, I didn't find the right way to start this. So I was uh, mostly explorative. I read lots and lots of different things from different domains and ultimately and gradually pieced my worldview together from many sources. And um, maybe there is one right way to start it, but I haven't found it. And um, you, I can uh, start with reading uh, the classical philosophers, of course. You can start with uh, reading uh, Aristotle's uh, physics and metaphysics and uh, Kant's criticism uh, of um, rationality. And you can uh, um, work through Gödel, Escher, Bach, and so on. But uh, I think that's hard to find the right interpretation of these books when you are starting out. And prepare, prepare to revise your thoughts often and um, ultimately converge on something. Maybe there is the right curriculum, but uh, I don't know where that right curriculum is. Okay, so yeah. in some sense, I cannot uh, give you uh, super good advice on, on how to start there. Maybe we have to write the book at some point or write the curriculum and um, see how to do this. I can uh, give you a long list of books that have influenced me. But uh, then again, it's also not that I think that my own trajectory has been optimal or something that I would recommend to other people. When I was studying, I was mostly driven by curiosity, and I think that was a good thing. I was uh, studying before the introduction of the uh, bachelor master program, so uh, I had a lot of freedom in how to design my own studies. It was uh, at the uh, time in Berlin. I've chosen Berlin deliberately because it had lots of universities, and uh, I liked the department where I just started uh, to study because it was after the wall came down, and it has been almost completely newly founded, and uh, the uh, people that uh, were teaching were very open to changes and were uh, driven by the attempt to try something new and idealism. And uh, as a student, I could join the Fachschaft and um, write my own uh, rules for studying. Even So, that, for instance, when I studied, uh, there was no way I could take philosophy as a second subject. So I got this written into the rules for studying and then I studied philosophy as a second subject. But I also um, studied at the other universities in Berlin. So I moved between all the other universities when there was an interesting class or went out to Potsdam because they had a cognitive science department and whenever they had an interesting lecture or guest speakers, I, I would uh, drive um, uh, more than uh, an hour out to Potsdam to see uh, what was going on there. And um, I had many discussions with other people. I went to conferences that I found interesting, often paying my own way uh, there to uh, publish my research if my department was working on something else. And um, this was necessary in a way to get, let yourself to be driven by your curiosity, get in touch with the ideas and with the people that can help you along the way. 